Good morning, everyone. My name is Gaijin, and today we're diving into the most important skills you need to succeed in Veil. This isn't like my beginner tips video where I showed you some miscellaneous helpful tips in game. This one is focusing on fundamental skills that you will always use and how to improve on them. I thought this would be helpful since I've been running into quite a few new players, and most of them get stomped by the competitive players who've been grinding Veil and other FPS games for years. And you can hold your own against them, but it's going to take some practice. First, you're going to want to be able to draw your gun on target quickly. Here's why. On site. Being able to draw quickly greatly increases your chances of winning a gunfight when caught by surprise. Also, when you point your gun down, you move faster than when you're aiming. With good game sense and situational awareness, you can know exactly when to put your gun down to move quickly around the map and when to raise it to clear an artifact site. You can practice this by turning on the Hurt Me orb in the armory, putting your gun on single fire, and just drawing to the target as quickly as you can. By the way, if you don't use a gun stock, you can draw even faster by resting your dominant hand on top of your non dominant hand and doing a sort of punching motion towards the target, which raises your gun faster than lifting your hands from your waist, and it keeps the momentum of your hands going in the direction of the target, increasing the likelihood of hitting your shots. But you are not going to be on target 100% of the time. No one is. So when our gun is up, but we're not on target, how do we fix that? Obviously, the answer is aim, but Veil vale is a game that involves a lot of very small aim adjustments. So how do we practice those? Well, this can be improved by playing deathmatch, of course, but skill are best improved by isolating them and practicing them in a low pressure environment where you don't have the possibility of someone shooting back. Think of a basketball player practicing three pointers or a golfer practicing at the driving range. And yes, you do have the option of using an aim trainer. I've made a video on that. But if you're here, you probably have Veil and the aim trainers available aren't great. <clears throat> Except for one that I'm making. So, <clears throat> uh, so yeah, we're keeping this in game and we're going back to our friend, the Hurt Me Orb. And it's obviously to just shoot it on single fire, but what I prefer to do to get increased repetitions of the motions you'll do in game is to move to the back of the armory and run side to side so your aim is forced to constantly be making small adjustments as you move. Sometimes I just keep my sights on target while moving back and forth to work on my tracking uh, and I don't shoot the target. And you can also turn off single fire to hone your muscle memory for switching targets with full recoil. Finally, you can also go behind the pillars here and just barely peek while firing quickly as you change directions to avoid the recoil penalty. And last but not least, Veil vale is a game that heavily relies on the effective and efficient use of grenades. Currently, there are four grenades, Frag, Smoke, Flash, and Impact, and I went over the details of how most of these work in my other tips video, and they're all pretty straightforward, but what you need regardless of the grenade you're using is good placement, and I'll let Rex's very own Nate Professor give some examples of this. This first clip is actually from a tournament. He gets three players with two grenades. One of those is primed and thrown while blind. In this one, he clears B site before making any visual contact with any player. And I let's let's not talk about this last one. Emotional damn it. So part of good nade placement is knowing the maps, knowing enemy positioning and rotation timing. But thankfully there's an easy way to practice this. Just go into the server browser, create a custom artifact game on the map of your choice, make it private and go practice nades from the positions that you normally play in game. Practice your smokes and flashes that would be useful in a site take. You can also change your loadout as many times as you'd like to replenish your nades. One that's super helpful that I practice often is this smoke for bridge on Kiti a site as well as one for the back of the site here. It's also helpful to not just practice nades that are on your preferred spots but also on rotations to the opposite site. For example on Suna on my team I usually play back site A and if we lose B I'll have to rotate and on my way there it's not too hard to toss a frag grenade up cat and if it gets a kill it can change the outcome of the round just because of how important cat control is and there are a ton of nades like this on every map. But point is, if you practice these three fundamentals in Veil, drawing your gun, aim, and grenade placement, you'll be able to hold your own in sweaty lobbies in no time. Like the video if it helped you out, subscribe if you want more Veil videos, and even if you do neither of those things, I hope you take the time to be good to yourself, even if you suck at Veil. So thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.